The Girl Scouts have found a new threat to the well-being of girls, and it's not cookie-induced obesity. Instead, it's hugs. The organization is warning parents not to make their children hug or kiss family members over the holiday season. If they do, the Girl Scouts warn, they're training their daughters to be possible sexual harassment victims later in life. It's far safer, they say, to have the girls do a high five or a smile. Nell Daly is a psychotherapist. She joins us. Nell, I found this story just unutterably sad and depressing. Mm -hmm. uh, th there's a sense that family life is tainted and even something as innocent as an excited uh, little girl or little boy rushing up to hug a beloved uncle is now a danger, a potentially dangerous situation. Well, I think what the Girl Scouts are saying is not that a child couldn't go up and hug a relative. Mm -hmm. They want the girl to make the decision as to whether or not they want to hug that relative. Mm -hmm. That a hug shouldn't be forced upon them or, you know, it's generally the case where parents will say, now give Uncle Johnny or Grandma Alice right. a hug goodbye. And what they're asking is parents to sort of rethink that conversation. Well, that's generally because uh, children are fairly awkward and they feel slightly discombobulated by old people, so they don't <laughs> want to necessarily hug their 87-year-old granny. But the 87-year-old granny might appreciate it. Is there a danger? Uh, of actually making an issue of this. I wouldn't say that the 87-year-old grandmother is the issue. Mm. What is the issue, and this is a sad fact, is that one in every nine girls in the United States will be sexually assaulted or abused by the time she's 18. And one out of every three of those cases, the perpetrator is actually a family member. Mm. And so we live in a culture of denial. And that's changing now with so many women coming out about the fact that they've been sexually harassed in the workplace. So what I think the Girl Scouts are trying to do is open up the conversation as to how do we teach girls to have boundaries and families to have better boundaries around their girls. Well, you, well, you know, liberals are, are the great huggers. Uh, it, it's us <laughs> up they, Why conservatives don't hug? Well, well, no, don't we, hug? we're supposed to be uptight and we don't... Oh. Uh, lib liberals, <laughs> liberals hug trees, right. liberals hug... Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, Qu Queen Elizabeth was regarded as a cold, heartless mother mm -hmm. for not hugging the Prince of Wales, uh, which supposedly led to his divorce and all the rest of it. Right. Are you worried that if we actually uh, attempt to make even the most innocent physical contact uh, something that has to be patrolled and policed, we risk doing to the general population what the Queen did to Prince Charles? Oh, no, I'm not. Because we're just having a conversation here. And the conversation that follows then is exactly the question that you just asked. How do we cultivate healthy intimacy in families? How do we cultivate uh, appropriate touching and affection. Affection is important. It's the way we thrive. It's mm. part of the reasons we thrive as humans. Children especially need affection. If we don't give children affection in cribs, for example, um, in orphanages, they don't they don't develop correctly. No. So no, no one's no. suggesting that. But it, it used to be a universally safe gesture. You know, I've I've sat in traffic behind Bernie Sanders voters going 28 <laughs> miles an hour with arms are for hugging bumper stickers. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it was a universally safe gesture. And now uh, the, the Girl Scouts are saying arms aren't for hugging, arms are for bombing no, North Korea. No, actually they're not saying that. They're simply saying in these kinds of situations where relatives are coming into a home that maybe the parents don't know what the relatives are necessarily like. Maybe they haven't seen Uncle Tom in five years, you don't necessarily have to force your child to hug that relative. They're just saying, let's let the girls have what I, I would call self-agency. If a child wants to hug that adult, they're free to if the, if the adult wants to be hugged. Okay, okay. Self-agency. <laughs> uh, thank you. Now have a very self-agency Thanksgiving.